Joining us right now from Washington is Ernie Allen. He is president and CEO of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Mr. Allen, good morning. Good morning, Maggie. You know better than anyone that the more time that passes, the less likely it is that uh, these boys will turn up alive. In these cases, time really is the enemy, isn't it? It, it really is, Maggie. We know that in 90% of these cases, the children are recovered. The cases are resolved within the first 24 hours. And we know that when children are abducted by strangers and murdered, uh, that in three-fourths of the cases, the children are dead within the first three hours. So law enforcement has moved quickly. There's been enormous attention to it. We remain hopeful, but the passage of time is not encouraging. In your experience, when a parent abducts a child, as may be the case here, what is usually the motive and what is usually the outcome? Well, it typically... In 80% of these cases, the motive for taking of the child is anger or revenge directed at the other spouse. Uh, what is perhaps most encouraging in this case is we also know that it is very rare for an abducting parent to do physical harm to the children. Uh, this is usually directed uh, more at the other spouse, so it's not unprecedented, but there certainly is hope that the, these three little boys are, are still alive and still out there somewhere. But in this case, do you fear that it is different because the father is not physically with the children and we know that he made up a story about what happened to them? Absolutely. I mean, this is a, a really troubling scenario. We're very concerned for the safety of these children. Our hope is that somebody knows and that somebody will come forward and provide information it's really important that people respond now and not feel intimidated because they know someone or have a relationship. Somebody knows where these children are. And we hope they'll come forward. In the meantime, what are you doing to help? I know that police called you in on Saturday. Uh, we, we have a program called Team Adam that uses retired law enforcement experts to advise and assist on the scene. Uh, we've been helping with grid searches of rural areas, looking for clues, uh, looking for indications that the children have been there. We're circulating their photographs widely uh, to try to generate those key leads and information. Uh, we need to do more to bring these three little boys home. Here we are on day five having this conversation. Do you feel strongly that you will find these three boys? Oh, I do. And, and I think we've made such, uh, uh, put such emphasis on the importance of time and rapid response that to lots of people that means that if you don't recover them in 24 hours or 48 hours, there is no hope. There are lots of examples of children being found and coming home after long periods of time. Most recently, J.C. Dugard after right. 18 years. So there is hope that we can find them. Uh, law enforcement, state, federal, uh, local law enforcement in two states, Ohio and Michigan, are working aggressively. There are volunteers helping. Uh, we think there is still hope that these children can be found and can be returned to their mom. Well, we will hold on to that. Ernie Allen, thank you so much. Thank you, Meg.